Canadian gold miner Monica Beats has become a symbol of grit, determination, and resilience, captivating audiences with her impressive mining skills and unyielding spirit both on and off the screen. As a vital member of the Beats crew at Paradise Hill, her journey from a young enthusiast following her father in the mines to becoming a renowned figure in the mining community is legendary. Yet, despite her professional triumphs, it is her personal life, particularly her marital status with husband Taylor Miles, that has sparked curiosity and concern among fans in 2024. Monica's personal life took a fairy tale turn when she married Taylor Miles in 2018. Their wedding, held in their picturesque hometown of Dawson City, was a joyous celebration attended by family and friends. The couple's happiness grew with the birth of their daughter, Jasmine Mays, in 2021. However, recent times have seen a surge in speculation about the state of Monica's marriage, fueled by Taylor's decreasing visibility on Monica's social media and her occasional appearances without her wedding ring on episodes of Gold Rush. These observations have led to whispers of potential troubles in their marriage. Yet, it's crucial to approach such speculations with caution. The life of a public figure is constantly under scrutiny, making it challenging to balance personal privacy with public curiosity. Monica and Taylor's choice to keep their romantic life private is not uncommon, nor does it necessarily imply marital distress. Furthermore, the absence of Monica's wedding ring in certain scenes could be purely practical. Engaged in the physically demanding and hazardous environment of gold mining, it's reasonable for Monica to remove her ring for safety reasons while working. This action should not be immediately interpreted as a sign of marital instability. Despite the rumors, there is no confirmed evidence that Monica and Taylor are anything but happy. They appear to be focusing on their privacy, cherishing intimate moments away from the public eye. As the couple navigates through their journey together, it is essential to respect their choice to maintain privacy. Born on November 7, 1993, in Dawson City, Yukon, Canada, Monica Beat's life has been intertwined with gold mining from a very young age. Encouraged by her father, she began operating heavy machinery at just 12 years old. By 16, she was a full-time miner and quickly ascended to supervisory roles, showcasing her leadership qualities and passion for mining. Her prominence in the family-led Beats crew has not only made her a central figure on Gold Rush, but also a role model for many aspiring miners. In conclusion, while it is natural for fans to be intrigued by the lives of their favorite celebrities, it is also crucial to remember that they are entitled to their privacy. Relationships undergo various changes, and public figures are no exception. Whether Monica Beats is navigating new challenges or enjoying marital bliss, her enduring spirit and determination ensure she remains a formidable presence in the mining world, much admired by fans and peers alike. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Throughout the years, Monica Beats, a vivacious and diligent gold miner who appeared on the popular television show Gold Rush, has been respected for her tenacity and perseverance in the mining industry, which is dominated by men over women. Nevertheless, her life has been marked by a great loss and a tragic tragedy, despite the fact that she has a robust facade and a grin that is contagious. The following is the narrative of Monica Beats, a woman who has endured more than her fair share of adversity in her pursuit of the elusive glitter of gold. The realm of mining was Monica's birthplace and upbringing. Even at a young age, her father, Tony Beats, a famed miner who was known as the King of the Klondike, taught her the ropes of the mining industry. Monica gained the ability to operate heavy gear and negotiate the difficult terrain with expertise and precision over the course of her childhood in the Yukon, which is known for its rugged surroundings. In a short amount of time, 
she showed that she was just as capable as any of her male colleagues, which earned her the respect and admiration of all who were around her. Monica had a childhood that was full of love and camaraderie, despite the fact that she was raised in the harsh and tumble world of mining. Her family was quite close, and she, along with her father, had a very special relationship with him. Even though he was a rough and frequently irritable person, Tommy Beats had a sweet spot for his daughter. He recognized in her the same burning spirit that had propelled him to glory, and he took great delight in the achievements that she had achieved. On the other hand, the journey that Monica took was not an exception to the rule that the life of a gold miner is riddled with difficulties. She had just turned a teenager when she was dealt the first significant blow. On the mining site, her older brother Kevin was involved in a terrible accident that resulted in his unfortunate death. A piece of heavy machinery experienced a malfunction, which resulted in Kevin suffering terrible injuries. The event caused the entire family to be shaken to their very core. Kevin's recovery was a lengthy and challenging process that included a number of surgical procedures and treatment. Monica, who had always looked up to her brother, found herself faced with the challenge of coping with the precarious nature of life and the inherent risks that were associated with the career that they had chosen. Upon reaching the age of majority, Monica devoted herself even more wholeheartedly to the mining industry, resolute in her commitment to uphold the tradition of her family. On the other hand, the emotional toll that her brother's accident had taken continued to linger, casting a shadow over all of her accomplishments. It was difficult for her to overcome emotions of shame and helplessness, and she pondered whether or not there was anything she could have done to prevent the tragedy from occurring. Monica continued to deal with the unrelenting demands of the mining industry despite the fact that she was going through these personal issues. Every season presented its own unique set of difficulties, ranging from malfunctioning machinery to severe weather conditions. The stakes were always high, and there was a tremendous amount of pressure to achieve success. There was never a moment when Monica's resolve wavered. Due to a profound want to demonstrate her worth, she persevered despite the tiredness she was experiencing both physically and emotionally. It was when Monica discovered love that she had her second great heartbreak. A fellow miner, a man who shared her enthusiasm for the rough life and the excitement of the chase for gold, was the person she made her acquaintance with. In the middle of the dirt and grime that was present at the mining sites, their friendship flourished. For a period of time, it appeared as though Monica had found a companion who was able to comprehend her world and the difficulties that she encountered. They envisioned themselves working together to create a bright future, not only in their own lives, but also in their mining operations. On the other hand, due to the harsh reality of their profession, their relationship began to suffer almost immediately. As a result of the long hours, the continual stress, and the unrelenting search for gold, their relationship started to show signs of degeneration. Arguments were more regular, and the pressures of their employment began to overwhelm the affection that they had once enjoyed with one another. Monica's heart was crushed, and she felt disillusioned as a result of their decision to separate ways for the time being. This painful reminder of the sacrifices that come with the life that she had chosen was brought to her attention when her relationship came to an end. In light of the toll that her journey has taken on her own personal happiness, Monica found herself starting to rethink her decision. Despite this, she never wavered in her dedication to the mining industry, even when she was confronted with a devastating loss. She was aware that gold was more than just a source of wealth. It was also a representation of tenacity and determination. The difficulties that Monica faced did not end there. Her father, Tommy, was confronted with a grave health concern, which was yet another instance of tragedy. Throughout an instant, the man who had always appeared to be unbeatable and a rock of support throughout her life was suddenly exposed to vulnerability. Monica had never really faced her fear of losing her father, which was a concern that she had never really acknowledged. 
she was compelled to confront the prospect of carrying on the family legacy without his direction and assistance, forcing her to confront the idea. Throughout all of these difficulties, Monica was able to find comfort in her profession. She was able to transform her suffering into a sense of purpose by going to the mining site, which turned out to be both a safe haven and a battleground. She was driven by a passion to succeed not only for herself, but also for her family and the memories of those she had lost, and she poured her heart into every project she worked on during her life. Monica Beats has emerged as a shining example of what it means to be strong and resilient in the field of gold mining, despite the unrelenting hardships she has faced. Her path is a demonstration of the strength that can be gained through endurance in the face of insurmountable challenges. She has persisted to carve her path, unfazed by the challenges that have been placed in front of her, despite the heartbreak and the disappointments that she has experienced. The narrative of Monica is one of victory over tragedy and of discovering light even in the most difficult of circumstances. In spite of living in a harsh environment such as the Klondike, she has demonstrated that the human spirit is capable of persevering and thriving. Not only is her legacy measured in ounces of gold, but it is also measured in the bravery and tenacity that she maintained throughout her life. When fans watch Monica Beats on Gold Rush, they witness not only a miner who is skilled and determined, but also a lady who has battled and triumphed over a great deal of adversity all throughout her life. It is a powerful reminder that behind every triumph comes a journey that was defined by effort and sacrifice, and her narrative helps to illustrate this point. Monica Beats is a living example of the enduring power of the human spirit and she serves as a source of motivation for almost everyone.